this plant here that looks really terrible and mangled and everything because it got kind of cold hasn't quite frozen yet but it was too cold for this um, this is potato mint and now this is the first time I've ever grown this this is a mint that makes edible roots that are like little potatoes allegedly so I have no idea what we're gonna find when we dig this thing up so let's pull it up and uh, see what's underneath it see if there are potatoes <laughs> Look at that. There are the little potatoes. Those little potatoes. Little mint potatoes. I wonder what they taste like. That has a pretty big set here. Maybe I'll put that back in. Now that's that's a sweet potato that got mixed in. We have some confused gardening here. It's interesting. Yeah, there's little little tubers here and there. I found some little tubers in the path where the vines root, just like regular mint. They, they but they leave little lumpy, little lumpy tubers all over the place. Let's yank some more and see. Now I'm telling you, it takes some serious time to get soil like this in Florida. We made this soil a compost pile for a year. We just threw everything on top of it. Matter of fact, you can look and see where we're doing the same thing over here. It was a total disgusting mess, right? I mean, paper plates and all that kind of stuff. We just pile debris on top of those paper plates and whatever else and um, let it rot for a year and you end up with compost. We also had a few other things that got thrown in here, old potting soil and whatever from plants. There's not a lot of potatoes underneath there. I think I may have found just as many in the path. Those are, those are potato mint. That's pretty cool, huh? That is a weed. That's not what the mint looks like. It looks like a regular mint, but it doesn't really taste minty. I don't know if you can even eat the leaves. It's kind of a cool experiment, potato mint. I was gonna sell it in my nursery, but then I sold my nursery, so I guess there's no way to get it to y'all. You're gonna have to look it up online. I'll have to eat these things and see what they taste like. Maybe I'll look it up. Somebody other than me is certain to have posted something cool on it. And, uh, Visit me on the web, on my own site. If I find anything interesting, I'll post it there, thesurvivalgardener.com.